right now heading the department of GI Minimal Access and Bariatric Surgery at CK Villa Hospitals. As we are talking of gallstones, we should know that almost 95% of these stones are made of cholesterol. These are not like kidney stones. So 95% is cholesterol, rest 5% of the stones they can be formed of bilirubinates. These are the pigment stones which are formed in the diseases where there is a lot of blood decomposition. No. These stones are totally different from kidney stones, their etiology, their pathology, everything is different from kidney stones. Most of the kidney stones, they are basically made up of minerals. Whereas these stones, as I told you, these are 95% composed of cholesterol and rest all, maybe 5% of them, they are made up of bilirubinates. See, most common symptom which uh, the common people they tell us that is acidity, the other that is uh, bloating, lot of burping sensation, when you feel full after eating food, these are the most common symptoms associated and in advanced cases there can be pain which starts from the center of the abdomen going to the right side, going to your back associated with nausea and vomitings. No, usually once formed, these stones are usually not dissolved. Once we say that the stone has formed, then they cannot be dissolved. Till the point there is a, some sludge formation, yes, there can be some pharmaceutical agents which can help us dissolve them, but not once we say that they, the stones have formed. They can pass out but not without causing any complications. These stones, they have to pass out through the bile duct and once they pass through the bile duct, they can obstruct the flow of the bile, thereby causing fever, jaundice, sepsis or going downwards, they can even cause infection in the pancreas. So passing out as such is not an option in these stones. If they pass out, then be ready for complications. As far as treatment is concerned, the size doesn't matter because the treatment is one and only that is to surgically remove this gallbladder. But yes, if we say about the symptomatology, about the complication rates, yes, the size of the gallbladder stones, they matter. The smaller the stones, there are more chances of the stones getting passed out and causing more complications in fact. The bigger the stones, there are more chances of causing the more and more symptoms. These are totally unlike the kidney stones, the size, the number, the position of the stones, they usually do not matter. So even a single stone needs, deserves the same treatment as maybe 100 of stones in the gallbladder. Definitely, the patients with diabetes, they are more prone for complications, they have low resistance in the body. So even if they are asymptomatic for, the, for these stones, they should definitely consider a surgical option in these patients. See the seat of problem as such is the gallbladder. The problem starts because the gallbladder is not pumping the bile properly into the intestines or the problem may lie within the composition of the bile which is super saturated with cholesterol. So if you just remove the stones and leave the gallbladder there then there are chances that the stones will come back so the treatment word over remains the same whole of the gallbladder should be removed. This is a common misnomer. It's not a laser surgery, it's a laparoscopic surgery. Laparoscopic means it's a keyhole surgery. That means there are small holes which are made into your abdomen, in your tummy. The maximum size of that hole can be one centimeter, rest of all can be five millimeter holes in the body, maybe two, three or four, depending on your surgeon's preference. So it's a laparoscopic or a keyhole surgery. This is one of the commonest and one of the most simple surgeries which is being performed by n number of surgeons all around. It's a simple 25-30 minutes procedure just one day in hospital and in certain cases patient can get back home within on the same day itself. See gallbladder is like a, it's a, it's like a balloon in your body so when we the size of the gallbladder as such doesn't matter because when when you suck out the gallbladder contents we can pull it out from that one centimeter hole itself see already when the stones are formed the gallbladder is usually less functioning or maybe non-functioning itself that means the pumping action of the gallbladder is not proper 
so as such digestion wise there is not much of a difference once the gallbladder is removed moreover the body very well adapts to the removal of the gallbladder and in addition we have to consider what are the pros and cons of keeping these stones vis-a-vis -vis removing the gallbladder